The story of a quietly rich African, Aliko Dangote. Aliko Dangote is a Nigerian billionaire, business magnate, philanthropist, founder, and current chairman and CEO of the Dangote Group, the largest industrial conglomerate in West Africa. He became Nigeria's first billionaire in 2007 and has been named the richest man in Africa for the 11th time in a row. His net worth is approximately 18.6 billion US dollars and he is considered to be the richest black person and the 65th richest person in the world. Although he is from a wealthy family, his business wasn't this big from the outset. In fact, he launched his business empire by selling staples like flour, sugar and salt. Now he's ranked among the world's top industrialists and philanthropists. At present, Dangote's business interests encompass oil and gas, consumer goods and manufacturing. Nevertheless, Dangote cement is the main source of the conglomerate's income. Additionally, Dangote controls the third largest sugar refinery in the world. Dangote was born on 10 April 1957 in Kano. To Mohammed Dangote, who was a business associate of Sanusi Dantata, the father of his mother, Maria Sanusi Dantata. He comes from a lineage of wealth. Alassane Dantata, his maternal great grandfather at the time of his passing in 1955, was the wealthiest man in West Africa. Business and greatness run in the bloodline of the family. Alassane was a Nigerian trader who sold cola nuts and ground nuts and was a distributor of European goods. He had business interests in the Gold Coast as well as supplying raw materials to British trading enterprises. Dangote attended the Capital High School in Kano after finishing his education at the Sheikh Ali Kumasi Madrasa. He received his diploma from Benin Kudu Government College in 1978. At the age of 21, he graduated with a bachelor's degree in business studies and administration from al Azhar University in Cairo. Shortly after graduation from college, Dangote borrowed $3,000 from his uncle to import and sell agricultural commodities in Nigeria. Thankfully, he was able to purchase goods at wholesale prices from foreign vendors. Rice from Thailand and sugar from Brazil were two of his main imports. At a significant markup, he sold them in modest quantities to villagers and his business venture quickly became a success and as a result, he managed to repay the entire loan within three months of starting operations. Aliko imported pasta, sugar salt and flour for over 20 years, which he deemed an expensive endeavor but he was able to turn his local commodities trading business into a multi-billion dollar corporation when he decided to stop importing. Then he built a plant in 1997 and started producing. Dangote built a multi-million dollar manufacturing facility in 2005, greatly expanding the company's operations. In addition to a $479 million loan from the International Finance Corporation, a subsidiary of the World Bank, the construction was funded with $319 million of Dangote's funds. In July 2012, Dangote obtained a permission from the Nigerian Ports Authority to acquire an abandoned piece of land in the Apapa port. There, he built a sugar refinery, the largest refinery in Africa and the third largest in the world. It produces 800,000 tons of sugar annually. Each of its manufacturing divisions has since been separated into publicly traded companies. Dangote Sugar Refinery PLC, National Salt Company of Nigeria PLC, and Dangote Cement PLC. Dangote believes in reinvesting to make more wealth. He has always reinvested the majority of his profits back in his businesses. As such, his position as the richest man in Africa appears to be one he will keep for a long time.
By the way, he has expanded into new business segments including telecommunications, real estate, steel manufacturing, and Dangote Pojo Automobiles Nigeria Limited DPAN. The Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger GCON, Nigeria's second highest honor, was given to Dangote by the previous president, Goodluck Jonathan. In 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018, Forbes recognized him as the most powerful man in Africa. 2014 Forbes Africa Person of the Year Award was received by Dangote. He was named one of CNBC's top 25 businessmen in the world in 2014. A selection of people who changed and molded the century was selected as one of the world's 100 most influential people by Time magazine in April 2014. Dangote was included among the 50 most influential people in the world by Bloomberg Markets in October 2015. The Guardian Man of the Year 2015 went to him. He was listed in New Africa Magazine's 2015 and 2019 Top 100 Most Influential Africans. The African American Institute's 2016 African Business Leader Award was given to him.